Alright guys, how's it going? So I received an email today, basically saying Sculpt Wheel has now been updated, and I thought, yes! <laughs> Brilliant. Now this is one of the best add-ons that I've ever used. I put it in the same category as Hard Ops and Fluent and maybe Flip Fluids. It just makes life so much better and so much easier. Now if you don't know what Sculpt Wheel is, it just received an update today. It's now getting classed as Sculpt plus Paint Wheel version 1.0. And it's absolutely phenomenal, I'll be completely honest here. In fact, let me just give this 5 star rating right now. Now it's called the Sculpt Plus Paint Wheel because of the new features. It lets you basically work in the paint mode and it gives you the same kind of colour palette as you get with the colour picker. Now it's 13 bucks. by the time you add on tax, it's roughly about 15 so keep that in mind. I'll put an affiliation link down below, I get a small kickback, the developer gets a sale, everybody's happy, you're more than welcome to use it. But let me just show you some of the new features in Sculpt Wheel because, oh my god, it's so damn good. <laughs> now, I'll run over the basics with it. Now, when you press spacebar, you basically get a UI that lets you quickly select a brush. Now, this can be customised pretty much in any way that you feel necessary. Now, if you just want to kind of swap icons around, you can hit the edit button here. You can easily drag things about, not a problem. Now with the new version, the UI feels a little bit more stable. It's just a bit cleaner feeling as well. It just definitely feels much more refined. Now we have a thing called the gesture pad. So if you move left and right, you can put the strength of the brush up. If you move up and down, you can put the size of the brush up. You obviously have kind of options here for masking, clearing, smoothing, basic operations. Now, like I mentioned, you can easily customize this. If you go to the properties on the right hand side, you can see here we can easily change brushes, not a problem. We can even add in our own new tool set. So if I go to a new tool set, Let's select a brush like Draw Sharp and let's add this to the active brush. Now we can actually even include our own custom icons. So maybe you don't like the default icons or you need something that's a bit more visual. You can tweak this until your heart's content. You can see your custom buttons. We also have wheel settings and there's a nice new addition. Press again to close. Now initially you had to hold in spacebar but now you can just press it once. So if I press in spacebar you can see here I now have my new toolbar and we can populate this with as much as we really want. And I think we can have four or five different kind of tool brushes so maybe you'll have one for just sculpting, maybe you'll have one for just kind of fine tuning or posing or masking. Completely up to you. Like I said pretty damn customizable and it's so cool. Now, obviously the new features are the texture painting, so if I jump into texture painting, I press spacebar, you can see here, I get a nice colour widget, and it's pretty self-explanatory to be honest. Now, up here, we can control the size of the brush, down here, we can control the strength of the brush. If we hold in control, you can see here it works in increments, if we hold in shift, it'll work in kind of smaller increments. And that's pretty much it, I mean it's superb, and I genuinely mean this, I'm not shilling for the artist or the developer. It's so good of an add-on. Do me a favour guys, please support third party developers. The link's in the description down below. Follow me on Twitter, support me in Gubbro, you know what to do. Take care.